Today, let's look at what if I wanted to make a photo album. That means I want to create a photo album using PowerPoint, which can then be uh, saved as a file. Correct? So it's easier. From, uh, it's it's easy, easier for uh, us to uh, keep our memories or cherish our memories, isn't it? That would be interesting, right? So I'm opening a blank new slide. I'll just share it with you all. This is my blank. And uh, And I say, okay, I want to uh, make a photo album. Let's go to insert and look at this photo album. And I say, new photo album. He brings up a window that you know, uh, I want to add pictures. So I, I go to file and I say, okay, I've got some pictures in my computer, which I want to add. So let's say I just take one, two, three pictures. And I say, okay, I've taken three pictures. And I say, insert. And there you go. You can see that uh, I've got three pictures, one, two, three. And what's the beauty of this? It's not just putting pictures. The beauty of this is when you can interchange your pictures and you can also give a format to your pictures. Let's look at that. So I've got one, two, three pictures. They are in order. I go to picture number two and I said, the second picture should be my first picture. So I interchange it. Now it tells you over here one and two. Two is your original number, and one is the number that you created. So you will know that original number of a picture was two. All right? Like this, you are able to get pictures in any order you want. See? So I made two as one, I made three as two, and I made one as three. Correct. Now, after I've done this, I say, okay, I want to do something more to these pictures. So right now my slide is this preview. It's showing one picture on my slide because it says fit to slide. I've got options here, which allows me to put two pictures on one slide. So this preview down is showing me two pictures. So if you want two pictures, two pictures will come on one slide. But again, mind you, you can't have a combination. The egg slide make picture or the slide make do picture or you can't do that. If you choose two pictures, all your slides will have two pictures. Four pictures, all my slides will have four pictures. One picture with title. So if I want a picture and a title on top, I can do that also. So I can even give, uh, uh, you can say uh, names to my pictures. I can have two pictures with titles and also if I want to. So if I want, I can add pictures with titles if I want. Just pictures, I can just say fit to slide. So the picture will fit to slide. How much ever maximum it can cover of your slide, it will cover. Correct? Now, leaving aside this, suppose I say, okay, I want one picture. He also gives me the option of frames. Do you want to put the picture frames? I say, yeah. So let's give it a frame. So why not make it a, a center shadow round? It? Or why not we just put a simple frame of white? Okay. So I could put a theme to my pictures by giving a frame. And I've changed my orders, which I showed you. And now I've got a theme for my presentation. Themes are nothing 
but the designs which powerpoint gives you when you create your presentations the same thing there so i say okay i choose a theme let's say i choose the uh gallery theme and i say select and when i say create look how beautiful i think that's created full is come see amazing right and it was so easy to do it so tomorrow you make a photo album then you realize are i have to do some changes to this don't worry go back to insert go back to your photo album there is an edit option what more you want you can add more pictures if you want from the computer you can add more pictures you can change the order of that picture like i showed you i can take it down or on top correct i can also change the frame i feel like this rectangle white didn't look very good so i say i want to give a shadow so i give a shadow this time i can change the gallery at any time i want and tomorrow if you want your um uh, tomorrow if you want your presentation to be black and white you can make it all black and white so entire photo album will be black and white imagine even more interesting isn't it i can have all my pictures in black and white and mind you your original pictures don't get spoiled huh? they are where they are this is a copy of your original pictures whatever you do over here to the pictures i'm not going to affect the actual pictures so you are creating photo albums for your memories based on whatever you feel like adding in or whichever order you want you don't need a particular picture just select that and remove it and add another one if you want go to file and list and add another one you want and that picture will get added like this you can have multiple pictures coming in and you just say update because i went to edit photo album i can do update now and my album got updated with the new changes here is the one with the shadow beautiful shadows have come for my pictures and this is how i can create a lovely photo album in powerpoint